4am to beat any pending traffic. If we're to believe things, it could be a very busy day on the roads. I can't see any stars. Um, let's hope it clears up, eh? Well, after an hour and a half of driving, there is a car in the distance. Not quite the eclipse jam carnage that was forecast. But at least we've got a bit of twilight now as well, so that's all good. Oh well, we have a nice sunrise on our date. And we do have the odd car. So here we are at the centre point, and uh, there are a few cars indeed. Right, the biscuit has started to be eaten, for want of a better term. Anyway, uh, an hour to go until totality. So it's all pretty exciting. There's Stewie's high-tech little lens cover that I made him. And this is what an eclipse chasing car looks like. Uh, we couldn't have more boys toys if we tried, but um, there we are, we did it. So you can't tell, but uh, it is definitely getting a lot dimmer now. We are 10 minutes off totality. The uh, sun is like a little crescent moon now. Again, you're not gonna see anything if I shine up. Oh, wow. Well. Look at it, 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 oh my god.
Well, that was the eclipse that was, and what an eclipse it was. I uh, have to say, uh, pretty breathtaking. Uh, couldn't have chosen a better day, clear blue skies, uh, or a better location, the open plains of Wyoming. Uh, first time I've ever flown the Mavic up in an eclipse, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with those results. So, uh, a pretty fantastic day. If you like these videos, uh, I doubt I'll ever reproduce this one, but um, I do chuck a video up every couple of uh, weeks or so, so uh, subscribe. And um, as ever, happy flying.